Britain, from Canada, one from America, and one from New Zealand. And when we heard the first news, which we heard earlier than you, we gathered together in St. George's College to pray for the souls of those who were killed. May peace be upon them. To ask for healing for those who were wounded and to reflect on the need of people of faith to stand against people of hate. 29 of us traveled, studied, and shared thoughts. We would go from the Arab souk to the Jewish souk. We would go from East Jerusalem from the souk to Matana Yehuda to the souk. And people would look at us and they would ask, is it possible for a person with a kippah, with someone wearing a clerical collar, with someone wearing a hijab or a tau, to walk and talk and laugh together. Is that possible? Yes. Yes, yes, we said. And we attempted to show them through our conversations, through our respectful and caring behavior, in all the challenging conversations, and there are many because we don't always agree on things. And that is what we brought from those four countries to the Holy Land. And that is why Jews are standing with you today, Al Yahud, we are standing with you today to grieve and to offer support in 17 different rings of peace in the capital district. 17 mosques. <laughs> we want that respect to be part of our society between faith traditions and to be evident throughout the world. In Judaism, we wear a garment with fringes. I wear it under my clothes and on the morning services I wear it on the outside. And some of you have seen this. We are told to see and to remember and to act in accordance with the Word of God. We know that thought leads to words and words lead to deeds. And I know that there is a similar teaching in Islam. Let us bring good intentions to our interactions with each other. And may those thoughts and feelings enable us to speak with each other with mutual respect. May those conversations lead us to act with rachamim, with compassion, and with senek, with justice to build a society in a world where the words of the prophet Isaiah may peace be upon him. Lo yisagoy el goy chered, velo yilmedu od milchama. People will not lift up sword against one another and will not learn war anymore. Let us say these words. Salam. Shalom. Peace. I'm not sure if Sister Nadra here, she's not here. Okay, but this gentleman here is also from our Sayyid al Hadisan management, Brother Muhammad Hassan. He just, him and his wife Nadra, they lost a cousin, two cousins, Ashraf Ali and the other Nadra. Two Ashrafs. So, two with the same name uh, in the shooting. So, their cousin, two cousins, were in Masjid al Nur and died. I have another Mauritian family, uh, Brother Ruben, he lost his uh, childhood friend. He's here actually, he's volunteering somewhere there outside. Also his childhood friend from Mauritius died. So on behalf, if I can get the flowers presented, maybe Rabbi, you can present this family here. Just a 
present the flowers. You can go ahead uh, on behalf of the community for the family of Muhammad. And yes, the relative who came to shoot him. Let's take a photo for this. We're going to make dua for the, the person who died. Please. And this bouquet flower on your behalf to Ben Zedek Synagogue, please accept from us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We're just going to make dua now. If I ask our rabbi guests to just one minute here, we have a lot of people who have died. No, just here, inshallah. So, can I have the list for those? And then, we, please, we will make announcements for the week. Okay, so we have. The Ashraf Ali, two with the same name, from originally from Fiji. They live in New Zealand for many years. So on behalf of our community to you and Sister Nadra, we will see her again tonight. I know she's at work in downtown, so it's far for her. And also we pray for Sister Rosie Muhammad Janaza was on Monday, I think Dado, uh, Islamic Center. Ab Shamim Abdullah Janaza today at Ta'lim al Islamic Center. And uh, also Tasneem Mullah Janaza was on Tuesday. We pray for these who have died. We have a lot of sick people, including Sister Amina Kamal, who is actually a, a child. She's with us here in the school. Her father is brother Adil. I'm not sure he's in here, but Amina Kamal is going to go uh, for surgery on Monday. She's only 10 years old. And also Sidra Adil, who is in Australia, and she's an ER. She was admitted. And uh, last time I was in Australia in Perth, she actually hosted us. You were there with me in her house uh, with her husband, who happens to be from Christchurch, who is originally from Christchurch, small world. Sister Balkis Begum, recovery from her broken wrist. Sister Nazmoon Ali, brother Hamid Baba, who is back and forth from hospital to home. Sister Zairun Ali, brother Rosan Ali, injured in the New Zealand attack, and his family is here, and Aisha Malik, uh, inshallah for Allah to make it easy for her. Let's pray for those who have died. Allahumma rahimah wa ta'ala ya rabbil alameen. We ask Allah to bless them and bless their soul. Allahumma fir lahum wa kanu muhsinin fazit fi sanihim. Wa kanu muhsinin fi tajawuz an sayyiratihim. Rabbi khfir wa rahmat khfir rahmeen. Rabbana khfir lana wa ikhwanina al-lazina sabakuna bil-eeman. Wa la jah fi qlubina fi al-lazina al-lazina amun. Rabbana inna karawufu rahim. Inna lillahi wa inna raji'un. For the sick people, we ask Allah shifa for them. اللهم اشهد يا شافي واكفيهم يا كافي اسر امرهم يا رب العالمين يا ميسر اللهم اشهدهم وعافهم واعف عنهم امين and pray for all the world and all human beings to be blessed with guidance with law for justice and peace and law for other human beings امين enjoy your weekend السلام عليكم ورحمة الله just one and all